The problem is that under English law, a claimant is not required to prove any harm in order to bring a defamation claim. The consequence is that there are a number of trivial claims that ought not to have been brought. And these cases cost people a fortune. And this is where we see the worst of the chill of our libel laws. So that, for instance, there's an author called Jake Arnott who wrote a book that happens to include a character who happens to share the name of a real man. This man's never met Jake in his life, but he still thinks he's been defamed. He sues. The book is pulped. It's not published. End of story. We need a test of serious and substantial harm. If you've really been defamed, that should be very easy to show. But if it's just a trivial case or a vexatious case, you should be thrown out of court immediately. Change is urgently needed um, now so that it will prevent somebody like me facing financial ruin uh, and an emotional roller coaster defending a spurious libel claim.